Something really weird happened on Monday, February 24th. It was chilly across the Dakotas, temperatures in the 30s and the 40s. There was only a slight chance of thunderstorms in the forecast. But then, something incredible happened. That's a tornado. That is a tornado. Well, I saw there was a chance of thunderstorms, um, but could not have imagined seeing that today. Meet Alex Rezel. Just last week, he was in Kansas City accepting awards for his storm chase photography. He lives in Watertown, South Dakota. And, as it turns out, he just captured the first February tornado on record in the state of South Dakota. Back on February 18th, Watertown hit minus 24 degrees. But on Monday, just six days later, temperatures had warmed into the upper 40s. By mid-afternoon, it was 47 degrees in Watertown. At 5 o'clock, a cold season thunderstorm rolled into town. Well, initially, I actually had gotten off work, so a storm was coming into town. Um, it had a nice organized base. I was actually kind of surprised. Um, rising motion with it, everything. Storms were forming on the leading edge of an upper level trough, or a dip in the jet stream. It was kind of sagging, digging southeast across the northern plains. Weather models did simulate showers forming over eastern Montana and moving southeast, but most only cranked out like one lone thunderstorm. You can see those thunderstorms forming beneath our upper level disturbance. Now that upper level disturbance meant temperatures aloft were very cold. Surface temperatures were cool too, but not as cold as the air upstairs, which meant the surface was relatively warmer. And that relative difference meant there was enough instability or thunderstorm fuel to get air from the ground to rise just enough to form like one or two thunderstorms. Now, instability would normally have been way too meager for a strong thunderstorm, never mind a tornadic thunderstorm. So what was Monday's secret ingredient? The answer? Vorticity, or spin. There was a lot of spin in the environment, and even a weak thunderstorm with enough upward motion can take spin near the ground and vertically stretch it into a tornado. I could see there's plenty of vorticity in the environment, so that was my key as to look for any signs of, you know, seeing if that, would, that storm would take advantage of that environment. Where did that vorticity come from, though? Well, if we take a look at satellite, we can see showers and thunderstorms are forming kind of an arcing line, which shows us there was plenty of spin at the middle levels of the atmosphere to sculpt those storms into that backward C shape. If we take a look at satellite over South Dakota, we can see obviously there's some broad spin there, but notice you also see the thunderstorm responsible for the tornado in the upper right of your screen, the northeastern part of South Dakota. We also notice the isobars, or the lines of pressure, kind of dipping a bit over South Dakota. We call that a trough, and that tells me there was likely a surface low trying to form. If we take a look at the surface winds, we see they're trying to swirl a little bit with some counterclockwise or cyclonic spin. It's likely our storm formed near the apex of that spin, ingested the swirliness, the vorticity, the spin, stretched it vertically, and the results speak for themselves, you get a tornado. No, it took me a minute. It took me a minute to process it until I saw the dust kick up underneath. Um, yeah, it just it was just hard to believe. You know, you could, it had that classic, you know, super cellular look with it. Uh, it had the nice, uh, you know, cyclonic rotation, everything like that you'd see from a tornado. But it took me a minute, like I said, just until I saw the dust pick up when I realized that, yeah, it was a tornado. Indeed it was. You see the little red blip there? That was the only tornado report in the entire country. Now, if you want to check out more of Alex's photography, he has some epic shots. Believe me, you have to go to his website. Uh, it's uh, www.outershotsphotography.com. And above all, this surprise tornado goes to show you that, in meteorology, the atmosphere always shows its cards if you look carefully enough. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.